The sculpture itself is finished here at Carlisle Castle. Um, it actually, um, we closed uh, the sculpture on the 8th of uh, July after a very, very successful seven week period here at Carlisle Castle. English Heritage are delighted to, to, uh, to, to have welcomed uh, over 140,000 visitors to, that came to the castle to actually view the, the poppies uh, weeping window and uh, it has been an overwhelming success both in terms of the castle but also it's brought literally tens of thousands of people into Carlisle and of course uh, economically it's been a real boon not only to us but also to the city as well. But, well of course the, the poppy is, uh, is uh, connected with remembrance and reflection on particularly the First World War and the, the, the sculpture itself has toured the country over the past four years um, uh, in places as far afield as Orkney down to in, indeed uh, Plymouth uh, and all uh, parts in between I guess but uh, here at Carlisle it had a particular resonance uh, to be displayed here at Carlisle Castle because we have a, a connection with the military even to this day we're still uh, technically a, um, an active military base um, but of course uh, this uh, is the home of the Border Regiment and, this, and their successor regiments and of course uh, 22,000 soldiers were recruited through Carlisle Castle during the First World War and, uh, and sadly 7,000 of, uh, 7, of those uh, soldiers never actually returned. Uh, I'd like to say that you know it's been an overwhelming success um, and certainly uh, one of the, the, the reasons, uh, uh, major contributors to that success was the fact that we had 104 volunteers here helping for the duration of the sculpture and uh, it would not have been the complete success it has been if it wasn't for that fantastic, uh, those fantastic efforts of those brilliant volunteers.